claims that Hinduism is a tolerant religion, but then why does it not accept inter-religious marriages? In reality, we have never said you can't marry somebody from other religion in the scripture of authority. We recognize divinity everywhere. It's a social, cultural issue. That's why if you intermarry, you might have a difficulty in your family life. If you are in love and you want to overcome these difficulties, we don't impose a restriction you can't marry people of other religions. We simply said, when you have children, expose these children to both the traditions and let the youngster decide which particular tradition they want to subscribe to. They might reject both, allow for it. Don't impose it on them saying because the father is this religion, you can't subscribe to your mother's religion. This is the evolving face of society, evolving face of the world. We will continue to intermarry. Because if you have cultural differences, you may struggle. Married life is difficult. You have to readjust with other person from a different cultural background, different social grouping. Here's a little bit of a tricky question. Um, Hindus, even if they are tolerant, will prefer that they don't marry Muslims. How do we explain that? The reason is this, 99.9% .9 of cases like that, the partner will be asked to change their religion before marriage. They'll insist that you give up your religion, adopt our religion, otherwise we will not marry you. We are pluralists. Why should you ask a youngster to give up their religion because they are falling in love with people for other religion? First issue is they will force that. And the second issue is the children are automatically Muslims. So that is why even open-minded liberal Hindus will forbid the youngsters to marry somebody from the other religion if they are going to put in this kind of restrictions. Does Hinduism allow people to convert to Hinduism? <laughs> what is Hinduism's take on conversion? This conversion issue keeps popping up. The tradition that we belong to is a pluralistic tradition, recognizes many different ways to make progress. It says, do not ask somebody to convert. Whatever tradition you belong to is a good tradition, carry on and we'll meet up at the destination. But having said that, I read, you cannot really convert to becoming a Hindu. You're born a Hindu, you follow certain principles, you're a Hindu. There were issues when some Hindus converted to some other religion. And when they tried to come back to their tradition, the Brahmin priests said, you cannot come back to Hinduism because you already embrace another tradition. Our priests said, no, because you're written in the Shastras, the scripture of lower authority. You have to be born a Hindu, you can't convert. However, at the end of the day, if somebody is really drawn to the Hindu faith, there's no question of conversion, but that person can start following Hindu beliefs and practices and become, you know, a Hindu. Isn't that okay? If what you hear grabs your attention, embrace the ideas and make them your own. Don't say, I'm Hindu, no. These are universal ideas. Incorporate within your own system and progress. We talk about inter-religious marriages, but there's another kind of marriage that is becoming extremely popular in today's day and age, and this is homosexual or gay marriages. People are attracted to people of the same sex. What is Hinduism's take on this, on homosexuality and on marriages between the same sex? Nowadays, they are doing statistical surveys saying that roughly 5 to 10 percent of the world population is attracted to the same gender. What is the Hindu take? This is not a new phenomena. For thousands of years, we recognize there are some human beings who are attracted to either the same gender or perhaps both the genders. The people were called Tritya Prakriti, the third gender. They were part of the society and linked with the entertainment world in the ancient Hindu tradition. We recognized them, we gave them a role in our society, we never vilified them and we allowed them to coexist with us with full dignity. Because we inherited the English legal system, we made the issue a criminal offense in India. England has moved away, but we were hanging on to these Victorian values imposed on us by the outsiders and we given up our own broad vision that we had possessed for thousands of years.